Welcome to Thistle Hill Farmstead. My name's Todd, and if this is your first time to the channel, thanks for checking us out. And if you're coming back, welcome back. Today we're going to do a review of our John Deere Z355E Zero Turn Mower. So stay with us for that. And as always, if you find this video entertaining, or if you like this video, press that like button. It really helps me out, and it helps the channel out a lot. And remember to subscribe to keep up to date with all of our videos and ring that bell notification so you're notified whenever I post a new video. This is a, uh, as I said, a Z355E. It has the XL 48 inch deep deck on it, which is uh, really good. The deep deck helps bring the grass up, create more suction to lift the grass up. So it's worked really well. And it has the 22 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine on it. And that's been plenty of horsepower for this mower. We haven't had any trouble with this mower bogging down or not being able to cut some pretty tall grass that we have. You can see this grass here that we have is Bermuda around the house. And then out where we cut kind of in the field is just, uh, I guess, just fescue and, and whatever other kind of grass and weeds that grow out there. And it's handled everything really well. So let me tell you a couple of things I like about the mower and some of the things that I don't necessarily like. I do like the comfort of the mower. It's got a comfortable seat. It has good power. The engine, as I said, the 22 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine uh, is plenty, plenty enough power for this. And I really like the way it cuts. It's got a good cut. I like the, uh, the easy deck raise and lower mechanism, which is right here. And the way this works is it just has this pin that you pull out, which doubles as a wrench for your uh, deck here. Uh, but you'll see these are in a teardrop configuration. So this wrench has a nib on it here and it only goes in one way. And you set your height and then you release it and the gravity pulls this down uh, and reverses that nib there so it will not slide out. And then all you have to do is lift this lever and drop it down and it goes to the level that you set. So that's really easy and it is a floating deck. So if I lift up on the deck, it moves easily. Uh, it has anti-scalp wheels. So that really gives this mower a good cut. So I like the cut that it provides. Some of the things I don't like about the mower is uh, one, it doesn't really have a gas gauge. So here's the gas, the gas fill on it. That's easy enough. It's in a good location. It's easy to fill. You don't pour gas all over everything when you fill it. However, it doesn't have any kind of gas gauge to let you know how much gas is in it while you're cutting. It does have a light, an indicator light here that lights up when it's low on fuel. I'm not sure how low. I don't know if it lights up when it has a gallon, a half gallon. I'm really not sure. But the problem with that is you see in this bright light here, um, it's hard to see in bright sunlight. And if you're riding the mower, you constantly have to look to your right and look down to see if that light is on. And um, it's just not very user friendly. So that's one of my dislikes about the mower. And if anything, it's probably my only dislike about the mower. Everything else has uh, been really good on this mower. One of my likes is uh, the ease of maintenance of the mower. This mower, uh, you can drain the oil by using this little spout here. It pulls off the side of the engine. You push down on it here and take the cap off and uh, it drains out. And you can see here, if you know Briggs and Stratton, might recognize that little logo there on this thing that that gives you an indication that this is a Briggs and Stratton engine. What do you think, Charlie? You like it too? You like the shade that it provides? The other thing that's really easy to change here is uh, the air cleaner. You just take these two screws off here. This plastic part lifts up and the air cleaner is right behind there. So you can just pull it off and change it or blow it out. Also the 
oil filter is here, easily accessible, and the fuel filter. So both are uh, easily accessible, easy to, to change and, and get to. So no problems with that. The dipstick is here on the top. Again, easy to get to. Check the oil really easily on it. So as far as maintenance on the mower, it's, uh, it's a breeze, no problems at all. You might notice on the back here, it has a, uh, a hitch and a bumper. I added the hitch because we do have a sweeper that we pull behind it when we cut this grass in front of the house here, which is, uh, as I said, Bermuda grass. And we do sweep that up when we cut it. Uh, and the hitch doesn't attach to this uh, sheet metal here because there's really not enough meat to that. You have to add this bumper which attaches to the frame on each side of the mower. So here and then on the other side, you can see how it attaches to the frame and it's very sturdy. And then the hitch attaches to the bumper. So we did add that and that's been uh, really convenient for pulling the sweeper. One of the things I like about this mower too is uh, if you need to push the mower for any reason, you can easily disengage the hydrostatic transmission here by just pulling this lever up and pushing it over. That disengages um, this side and then there's one on this side that does the same. So you disengage them both and then you can push the mower uh, around uh, with no problem. The uh, wheels on this mower, they're 20, let's see, what's it say? 20 times 9.0 dash 10 uh, good size rims for good size tires for this mower we haven't had any trouble with the mower slipping or spinning uh, it, it runs really good the front wheels i have to say we have had some issues with them uh, being punctured uh, some of the areas around our tree line we have some thorns that uh, tend to, to grow there and we've cut them down and uh, they're on the ground here and there, and this has the thorns have punctured the front tires, <clears throat> actually both front tires at one time or the other, and uh, we've had to plug those. So those, uh, and I wouldn't say that's a problem with the tires, I guess it's a problem with the way we, uh, we mow with it. Uh, it's easy to, to clean out from under the, uh, the spindles here. Just lift that uh, plastic cover and clean out there. It does have a deck wash system here that you can uh, connect your garden hose to and then uh, turn the hose on, turn your blades on, and it cleans out beneath the mower. Now, I don't particularly use that. I haven't used it, and I've had no problem with anything clogging up under the mower. The battery is located under the seat. So if we raise the seat up, the battery is right there under the seat, easy to get to. This top uh, cover on the engine comes off too. You see these little hand indicators here. You squeeze that together and it comes off so that you can clean uh, that screen out and get any grass that may accumulate in there. Get that out and then it pops back on. The controls are really easy to operate. You've got your throttle here, slow, fast. You've got your blade engagement here. You pull it up to engage the blades, push it down to disengage. Here's your hour meter. And if I turn that on, we'll see if we can see the hours here. I'm upside down, so let me move to this side where it'll be a bit easier to see. I think maybe we can see those. 387.5 hours. So it's been a really good mower. I have no complaints. And one of the, the my highest viewed videos is the one replacing the traction drive belt on this mower and the deck belt. I have two videos on that. And uh, they get a lot of hits. So apparently a lot of people have this mower and are doing their own work on it. And it's fairly easy to work on. So I hope that's helped you out. If you're in the uh, market for one of these mowers, I hope that's given you a little bit of uh, insight on the quality of the mower and some of the features. 
If you have any questions, please uh, post them in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer them. And as always, remember to subscribe to keep up to date with all of our videos. Press that like button. It really helps me out. helps the channel out a lot. And ring that bell notification so that when we post new videos, you'll get notified of uh, those videos.